Let me ask you a question. Now, I first read it in Forbes in a column by Rich Calgard. Let's say that each day of the week had a different income tax rate. If you work Mondays, you pay no income tax. Tuesdays, 25% of your income goes to income tax, 50% on Wednesday, 75% on Thursday, and 100% of your income would be taxed on Friday. Now, which day do you want to work? Well, I think it's safe to say that regardless of your political leanings, almost everyone would choose to work on Mondays, and no one would choose to work Fridays where every cent of your income is taxed. This example reminds us that economics is ultimately the study of incentives and individual behavior. In this case, the incentive is to keep all the money you earned on Mondays as opposed to keeping very little or none later in the week. It's pretty easy to understand, yet proponents of higher income taxes or higher business taxes for that matter continually ignore the disincentive to work or invest that higher taxes create. One more thing. Of course, we don't want to admit it. But if you answered you'd like to work on Monday but still want government services, well, the only way that happens is for others to work on high income tax days. Now, a heck of a lot of us do want someone else to pay. We rationalize it by saying that someone somewhere isn't paying their fair share or some business isn't. But the underlying motivation is that we want someone else to pay, be it our children by inheriting increasing debt or someone else's taxes. My name is Mike Campbell. It's only Saturday for Money Talks.